In this video, I paint Caden from Infinity Defiance. Caden is a wolver, a dog-faced human hybrid from the planet Dawn. Known for their bloodlust and joy of violence, none are expected to live long. Caden is not only known for his frenzied love of battle, but is famous for it. It earned him the nickname First Strike, as he is always at the forefront of battle with blades drawn. The fact that he is not dead yet is testament to his resilience, and with his help, the crew of the Defiance will take the fight to the Shazvasti. I really love the action pose of this model, it has such a kinetic fury in the sculpt. I wanted to try and make this one a bit special, so uh, it just so happened that there was a painting competition just starting on Reddit, and I decided to enter. Not having entered a painting competition before, I thought it a great way to try and push my painting ability. It's said that no matter how good your painting is, if you don't get the eyes right, your model is going to suck. So with that in mind, I started with the eyes after putting down a base skin tone. The angle was very difficult as the model's raised arms blocked easy access, so I'm afraid I failed again at showing my technique on the camera. You have to trust me on some of this, but I painted the eye socket black, and inside this socket I painted ivory and was sure to have a black outline to help define and highlight the eyes. Finally dotting the eyes so they are looking in the same direction, and I was pretty happy with the result. As I do more of the skin, I can clean up the area around the eyes so it doesn't look like he's wearing a heavy eyeliner. Another very important part of a human model is to get the skin tone defined and highlighted correctly. This can also be a make or break part of a model's aesthetic, so this was also important to get right early. Luckily, this model has a ripped body with very defined muscles and it makes the highlighting pretty simple. Uh, I made a range of colours getting lighter and lighter and focused on getting smaller and smaller areas of highlighting. I went for a high contrast style going from dark to light and I was pleased that it gave a somewhat anime Street Fighter art style to the model's skin. Now the skin was coming together, it was time to paint the hair. I wanted to keep close to the original artwork and so he was to have auburn hair. His character is very bestial, so I wanted to keep the earthy tones for much of the model. I painted the hair brown and then worked up highlights to orange. I continued with painting his uniform a dark woodland green to keep to the earthy theme of the character. At this point I had taken a break for a little while to reflect over what I had achieved so far and get the opinions of others on social media. One comment I had was that the transitions of dark to light on the skin tones was too abrupt, and looking at it closely myself I could only agree. I took one of my mid-tones and made it into a glaze. This allowed me to blend between the high contrast areas, making a smoother finish. I also added a little lighter orange to help the hair contrast more from the skin, making it more defined. I painted Caden's fingerless gloves to look like brown leather, and then painted in his undershirt a light forest green. Now with all the base colours down, the skin tone, face and eyes complete, it was time to tackle all the clothing. I gave the uniform a black wash, and once dried I began highlighting it all with a mid-toned green, taking care to keep all of the creases and folds dark. With repeated thin coats, I was able to get a clean transition of light to dark. I then gave one more highlight with a yellow green, where I expected the cloth to be the lightest. I made up a pale light green for the undershirt's highlight. On the back of Caden's jacket there is a skull motif, which I painted brown along with his boots. These were then given a black wash. The boots then received lighter and lighter browns for highlights, while I used a light ochre for the skull. The skull was then highlighted up to ivory and given a red bandana. It was now time to work on Caden's knives. I forgot to record from my camera, but luckily I was recording on Twitch at this time, so I have pulled some of that footage. These days I am rarely on Twitch, but you may be able to catch me from time to time at Zombie Sashimi. Anyway, I wanted his blades to contrast in colour to the rest of Caden. He's rough and ready and rarely washes, but I feel that before a fight he takes great care of his blades so that they are clean and as sharp as they can be. I used a blue colour palette to give a cold blue steel shine to the knives. To achieve this effect, I layered the ever increasingly lighter tones in strokes towards the highlights. All edges that could catch the light were also highlighted with a white edge highlight and it made for a striking finish. I painted the knee pads with the same style of cold steel, trying to take care to make it look like they were catching the light correctly. 
I then continued with the second knife on his belt. I really enjoy painting this kind of non-metallic metal. Uh, I remember the first time I tried, it felt so difficult and hard to know where to place the brush. But as the saying goes, practice makes perfect. And although I am not perfect, I feel I've come leaps and bounds since I first tried this technique. Adding some small details then finished off the model, leaving the base to be completed. With the base being one of the areas that gets judged in the painting contest, I wanted to do something special, but alas, time was not on my side and I had to go with something quick. I put down some brown on the base and then covered it all with crackle paint to give a cracked earth look. Caden is leaping over a piece of Shazvasti tag. My Shazvasti color scheme has ivory armor. This meant that it blended in with the base of the desert. Not the best choice for the contest, but I wanted it to match my armies for when I use the model in my games. I put a brown wash over the desert base to intensify it a little, and a black wash for shadows. So here is the finished model. I was really happy with the final result. There was a lot of contrast and I took greater care with my technique than I have done with other models I have painted. In the end, I finished mid-table in the contest, but looking at the other finished models, it was impressive to see such great talent and that I did as well as I did. Ultimately, it is the journey and not the result that is important, and I enjoyed every minute that I put into this cool miniature. Thanks for sticking to the end, and if you haven't already, why not subscribe or check out another of my painting videos. And with that, I hope to see you next time.